ready? Yes. We're going to service the... Okay, we butchered oh. the lights here. Oh, okay. So we make them usable. So they had that stupid double-ended stud thing that you can't torque for squat. Somehow you're supposed to tighten it on one side and move a nut up and down and fuck with it. That's a piece of shit. So I fixed it. I put a bolt in there. We reamed the hole out in here so the bolt slides in and out now. We got a spacer we stick in here. And that spaces up your plate there like that. And that goes up on your fork over here. Like this. And you're still not going to hit inside the fork. So even though this is all the way in, we're not going to be into that fork. Now the fork uh, on the lower leg here, there's no relief. On the upper, there's a relief for the bolt to go through. Mm -hmm. So you can't have this bolt go into the fork leg here. So you got to make sure you don't make the bolt too long. So but we do have about 5 16 worth of threads in there. should be pretty good. If it gets a little bit too close, I got to put a wash over here. But I think I'm good. Okay, good. So once we put these on, we can torque these to whatever angle we want, torque them down, and they ain't moving. And They'll stay. And they're staying put. They never were uh, tight. Unlike they, that stupid ass way Harley was doing. They was always pointing towards the moon. This is so much easier to do and quicker, I have no idea what they do. Yeah, anymore. yeah, I don't know. Bunch of morons. All right, so we're going to have to do this slide here. So we'll wait for that a few minutes. Get this one out of the way. Hopefully, don't break another tool. Okay, we're going to work on our fork oil right now. We're going to change the fork oil. You got the bearings all cleaned up yep. in here? Yep. I didn't go into the neck real deep. I hope that was okay. Well, we're going to make sure there's grease on the lock in there. Okay. And it's clean up on here. Yep. There's no rust, no pitting. You run your fingers in there. If you don't feel anything in there, if you feel any kind of waviness, you got to put new parts in. Okay. You feel smooth and even, so we're good. Sometimes you, you can't even see it, but it's unevenness being there. Okay, so I need a couple tools here for get the fork apart. You need a special socket here for the top nut. Socket only available at what? Harley Davidson, right? Gyms, okay. Right there, gyms. Yeah. Gyms, Check okay. Like nice. Dangerous as hell. Chases after you. Okay, so we're going to need a hammer. We got our hammer, that's important. And I need something else too. Knocker. Head it out. I put tried to put everything back. Right there. Okay. Impact knocker with gotcha. that large Phillips. Right? I call that an impact driver. It's an impact knocker because you knock the shit out of it. Okay. If you're not smart, it'll knock you back. Yes, sir. Yeah. I know it'll booger up a thread real bad. Yeah, these here are solid, so you don't leak oil out of them. Okay. So you can't just flip them over and dump the oil out like you can on an old bike. You actually have to take these apart. So, so we got Phillips here. And I didn't get the right size. And once you grab me a nut to put on the other, so I'm going that thread. Were they, were they these? I forget. No, it was just a hex head. I think they were these. I didn't take them off. Yeah, so I, I think know. they were those. These are fender, but I don't know if I use them on both sides. Whatever. Just want to protect the threads a little bit. The service in interval on fork oil normally. You're supposed to change it every now and then. It looks like it's green. That's custom. Green, green's the color of money. Probably Harley. 
Well, you count how much ounces come out so you can put the same amount back in. Yeah. That'd be hard to do, wouldn't it? You can't do that? So you can stand here and wait all day or you can push on the fork a little bit. You know, uh, there's a lot of criticism about the quality of new Harley stuff, but that's a nice assembly right there. Don't you think? I like Springers. You're not a Springer guy. Well, yeah, you are, but come on. All I know is that surely hell ain't no damn 12 and a half ounces like they're claiming 13 It doesn't appear ounces. to be, does it? Yeah. That's like nothing. It's still pissing out there. It won't come out. It just keeps pissing. So we're going to have to let this piss for a while. So we need a pissing stand. You got a pissing stand? You want to lean it up here. How about this? Yeah, I'll probably use that. Leave it over there. What the hell's all that on the well, I don't know. All over the floor. It's oil. I don't know where that come from. Somebody left me a surprise. Didn't think I noticed. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. What would it be out of? I don't know. Don't have a clue. I didn't get anything over there. And yes, you certainly would have noticed. I noticed right now. I noticed you made a big mess on my floor. I don't think it was me. Not a bit. I don't know why, uh, why, where it would have come from. Somebody had an oil leak. Where would that much oil come from? I don't know. Why? Well, I'm telling you the truth. All I know is I see something shiny and it looks like oil and it resembles oil. <laughs> sure as shit it is. What weight is it, though? That's the question. You know what I bet you that came out of? No. When I took the screw off, I had the fork laid down. Right? Oh, all right. Well, there's the rest of our <laughs> 12 ounces. You were saying those are solid. Evidently not. No, they're not. Okay. Well, that's good to know. No, now I made a mess. All right. Well, the one good thing about it is, is I didn't make a mess. There, see? Oh, all right. Well, there you, there's your answer to the question. Here. Now I know where the oil came from. What's that for? Oh, that's not. That's for. Right, okay, gotcha. Okay, so now we know the these aren't solid. Okay. Now we know where that came from, though. Well, I'm glad we figured that mystery out. It's hard to get good help around here for this. <laughs> God, I'm looking through the camera lens and you're dripping oil on the other side. I don't know what you want. Hey, it's coming out. Now that black material, that seal, right, going away? That's uh, material. Or bushing. That's material buildup. That appears to be a better way to drain it. It's my preferred method. See, it still makes a mess though, but not as much. It works both ways. So. Now I'm not sure if the fork damper holds oil in there or not, so probably wouldn't hurt to use it the correct way. That's still hardly uh, 22 ounces of oil. Oh, I don't know. There's a bunch on the floor over there. Well, but still. I think somebody made a mess over there. I'm not. I'm not saying who did it, but. Okay. Could have been somebody in the building. Well, I know somebody that did it, but <laughs> I ain't saying. <laughs> like I said, I'm just glad it wasn't me. <laughs> Call it the hazmat department and tell them there's been a. That's spill. all right. There's been a spill. Well, at least we know it's hollow on top. You know, I'm impressed this bike for as old as it is. Uh, it's been washed with water a few times, but not many. Yeah. I never put water on machinery. I try not to. Oh. 
Better leave it dirty than hose it down. Now we know it's barely coming out of this end, so let's see what comes out of this end now. This will tell if there's any buildup on this other side. Looks like about the same amount of drippage. All right, so we're going to let that do its thing here for a while. See, gravity works for free. It does. Okay, where's my uh, fancy tree at? Right there. In the grease? Slickaline. That's racing grease Silkaline. for you guys that don't know. It's European crap. Silkaline. I think it's made in England. Oh, wow. Look at that. Fancy crap. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. I thought that was slick. And keep the dirt out of it. Yeah. Keeps the mess out, too. So i got to try to pack it into the bearing because you... Petro informed me, don't try to pry that bearing up, it's pressed in there. Yeah, that will do some damage to the bearing if you did that. See, I can't pack it into the roller this direction. Right, but it's going to get in there, and it picks it up. Where could I get that some of that grease? That's nice stuff. Uh, I think it's a teacher machine guy might have some. Do we sell that online? Is it available in the pro shop? <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> we got a pro shop here. I got some of the real racing grease, which costs a lot more than this. Yeah, season. I'm sure. It's a hundred bucks a tube. You want that stuff? Yeah. It's that tribal dime stuff. Oh wow! They got some stuff that's three hundred and sixty bucks a tube. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's what the NASCAR. What would you does. use it? What would you put? Wheel bearings and bearings, huh? That's for that NASCAR guys use that. No kidding! Wow. Yeah, that's that real good shit. See, I don't know how much is actually inside the rollers right now. That stuff has a tendency to pick it up though as it rolls. Hopefully. Trying. All right. All right. Yeah, nice stuff. Relived your lock up there okay. for you. Okay. Look at that. Some slummy bastard. Put grease on the outside of the container. I hate that. Yeah, I know. Boy, you don't like I grease. I think it had that same mark as on the You're going to grease there. on your tools or grease on... Uh... Let's see, look at that. Yeah, yeah. all right. Well, look, we got to break a few eggs to make an omelet it's around here. Good help around here. Yeah, I've already got it from. I got it over here on the side. See, so, yeah, they haven't been cleaning the inside of the container. Yep, right? yep. Making a mess. I'm have to get on the mechanics about that. Make sure they do it right next time. Talking to Chip over there on shirts. He says long sleeve shirts are only a couple bucks more than regular ones. Well, get long sleeve. I hate long they're, sleeve. Yeah, well, get yourself short sleeve, but if you're riding, they're nice. Yeah, he says people use them because they get sunburnt. And they're, well, I yeah. was hoping you'd get long sleeve. They have delicate skin, evidently. No, it's not that. That's what he said. Yeah. No, I thought that was kind of He's just a shirt maker. What does he know? But then he's damn a 
Are you going for him? His lackey over there said the same thing. Are you interested in red? Did you ever get red? I hate red. All right, I know you do, but how about for shirts? Do you hate it on shirts? I hate everything except blue. Uh, all right. The color all right, blue. Well, then I like black. I think I'd rather wear a pink one than a red one. All right. Well, I like black then. Just make sure the long sleeves are black. What did he say about flames on the arms? Yeah. You didn't ask him about that. I'll have to put Harley Davidson on the side. Too. No, you didn't want. To, you didn't say advertise. San Diego Harley Davidson on the side of it too. So I didn't say. You know what fits in good? You didn't say. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a bearing. Right there. I mean this one right here. Yeah. Somebody clean all the grease out of it. And yes, I did. That's what I was instructed to do. You, you know, to break in as a gunk boy here at Tatro Machine, you got to follow directions. Nobody knows what gunk is anymore, though. Hear that crow up on the roof? Yeah, he's trying to get your attention. That's old school right there. Hmm. A lot of people don't know how to do that. Old? No, that's the way I was shown how to pack bearings. I like it. That's what your hands for, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. You can wipe your butt and put the grease bearing at the same time. Well, if you want the bearing done right, <laughs> that's the way to do it. So you have to push it all the way through the yeah. roller there. So you can see it, yeah, coming out. See, I couldn't do that with that one And over then there. turn it over to boot. You know, it's real packed now, so. Yeah, look at that whole big gob went all in there. Not all of it. Well, damn near. A lot of it did. See, it's, I don't have to do the bearings right here. Yeah. Yet, so. Yep. Just keep pushing it. Yep. So you can clean your hand off. Mm -hmm. So I did that right? I think so. Glad you're happy. I like it. Too much grease. Good extra. I always like packing in the sides here too. Probably a good supply of grease when you need it. There's not so much you don't make a big mess with it. See? <clears throat> there was a dirty rag there behind you, right here. That's a greasy one. No, it's not I didn't do that on there. Over there and we got another one right here. Now it'll be nice and sticky for a while. Yeah, that's all right. Filthy ass bikes. You do it a lid. Took it, hit it from me. Over here in the uh, snap on the toolbox. We got a big mess on the floor over here. Who did that? <laughs> <laughs> it's always nice when you figure out who did it. <laughs> well, at least I know there's no holes in it. Uh, there you go. I do not. Uh-huh. I'm going to just wrap around here. Yes. I need to go back to work on this. It, it went down through here. <coughs> oh. So now i got to make another one. Okay, you want to try to film that? Yep. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these. Because that's how I was holding it. Did you notice that bolt had been worked on? 
I don't know what the vanilla is. Well, I'm just yeah. saying, somebody uh, actually shortened it and dressed it up. Somebody did something to it. Where's that fancy cookie book? Yeah, I got you pretty good. So you have a little slot here. Oh, okay. Take that off. Ah, look at that. This one's got amber bulbs in it. No, it's got amber tape on the bulb. Huh. It might have been amber stuff, but it's... Coating, yeah. You can see it's coated. Gone now. That's an easy... Now, that's a top dollar piece from Harley Davidson Yeah, there. no shit, huh? No expense spared yeah. on that piece of crap. You wonder why we think so much of Harley Davidson around here. To broke my tool off. That's the one I needed to get into here too. Hold that a little bit. Damn it. Close. I don't think they want one of these out. I'm guessing not. Good thing I didn't read the manual on that, huh? Well, you never follow directions. It's like pulling a tire off. It is. Jeez. Yeah, rubber gasket in there. I bet they're expensive. I bet you can't buy them. You think uh, not? I know you can't buy this crap. Why would you ever want to? Somebody stupid like me took it apart. There'd be no reason for it. Okay, now you gotta get the, the water out of here. Well, they sure aren't very. So you got this lip on here we gotta deal with? Mm -hmm. So you gotta kind of push it all into here. It's on your room, too, right? One time application, my ass. So you just had to overcome that o ring lip thing there. All right. Back to the R&D department. Well, we've already done the R&D, now we're doing butchering. Don't trip over the fork too to make a mess. We'll go to production. Yeah, we'll only charge you fifty-five ninety-nine to fix this problem. Alright, now I get to go ring that hole out for a bolt. Where'd my bolt go? Right there. I think that's a one inch bolt. So we have to get rid of those threads in there. Okay. So you can either strip it out or you can pull it out. Cut them out. I think we'll cut them. How come you got a knot in your wiring up here? I didn't notice. Somebody twisting a big knot in the freaking part.
making tools for our clutch basket riveting machine. Oh wow. Top secret, nobody knows about it's it. It's alright. Don't tell anybody. Okay, you know, we want to try to get this in here without hurting ourselves or cutting the wire in here. Lay down a little. I'm gonna lay down on it. No, I mean towards your hip. There. Transferring heat. Okay, we're trying to keep the wire gotcha. where the reamer goes through. In my fingers. Warm too. Good thing there's no wire on that in my finger. I'm wondering how they produce these. Okay, now I'm a, that was straight, so now I'm gonna angle a little bit so I can get the bolt in easier. I thought it was a, kind of an angle hole. Do you think these are aluminum? Pop metal. Um, oh, they're aluminum. Pop metal is heavier. Now use a reamer so it doesn't grab. Right. Rip it out of your arm. That'd get real dangerous. Yeah, it hurt. Some extra chips too. Get my rag getting dirty. All right, back. Stick your bolt in there. Make sure the wire doesn't get pinched underneath it. There you go. Nice. God, you would have thought they would have done that. Huh? Another spacer right there. And you can put a hex wrench in there and tighten it up. Just about as nice as it could be. And when you're all done, you push this piece of crap socket in there and you're yep. in. Yeah, you go. And they could have made this a, a little groove or something so you can pull this back out. Right, right. Instead of making a one-time application. But they didn't, yeah. And you can still get the wire in and out, see? Yeah. So once we get where we want it to be, we'll shove the wire. Okay. Pull this all the way through. Through. Shove this thing in there and we'll be good. Good to go. All right. And then you can work on this stuff and take it on and off the vehicle all you want. Okay. Just like you're supposed to. And these are the longer ones here we didn't use. So these are quarter inch tall, so this must be 360. Where would a guy get those? By that drawer over there behind I you? I know. I see. you got Tatro machine on them. Do you make them? No. Buy them. Nice. Perfect. I was going to throw them away. I was good. Yeah, there's a left and a right. We need to know which one's which. I don't know how we tell the difference. We got a 50 50 chance of doing this right. No, uh, well, let's see. That can only index into the plug one way. Yes, but yeah, but you could do that after. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. No, you're kind of committed. Yeah. <laughs> it's either going to be this way or this way. <laughs> God, I couldn't guess. 50 <laughs> 50. Well, we'll be able to do it before we put the tank back on. <clears throat> we'll be able to check it. Yeah. You can check all your electricals before you put the tank back on. Well, you just have to... I assume the purple wire is going to be the one for the turn signal. You'd have to swap out the wire if it's wrong. Or take the fork back off. We're not going to do that. <laughs> we got a job for you. What? Hold that.
easy if you hold the bearing down, the fork will go right through it. In this case here, I don't want to do that. Dirty again. It goes in, so I know it's possible. You want to slip it on after you put the tube in? After you put the stem in? Usually uh, it goes in no problem, just like that. Mm. That's how it's supposed to go through. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. Okay, where's your signals at? <clears throat> Give me the left one. Is this the left one? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, stick it on there. Stick it out of the grease. All right. Where's your tree at? Right here. Okay, let me get rid of my grease. I'm full of grease here. Let me clean my hands off. Got to go on first. Here we go. You know, if worse comes to worse. Instead of pulling the tree back off, we could just click it, cut it, and splice it. You got that beautiful little heat shrink thing. I mean, nobody ain't would be... That. Huh? I ain't doing that. All right. <laughs> Jesus. I'll take the damn fork apart again. I don't care. So do you think the risers were okay? What didn't you like on that? What you have to do is you got to hook this dash back up and see... Right. Pick up this wire. See what you got. See what you got. And then if it doesn't work, you pull the tree back off. And you can do it. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do. We're going to figure out which one's which. Okay. Now we got this mess up here we got to deal with too. I'm not sure what we're doing with that. But it's a mess. Okay. So. You know you're going to catch hell for the right tool there, don't you? Right. Until I put the forks in there, we don't know right. where it's going to sit. So gotcha. I just don't want the where it's going to just go flop, flop everywhere and cause damage, hitting on stuff. What are we hitting on? There's something. Oh, hold on. That's on the wire? Yep. Okay. Fine. Yeah, any idea where that goes to? I didn't take this thing apart, so I don't know. Uh, well, the dash, the whole instrument cluster sat on there. You have a word of the turn signal plug in on your side or my side? I don't see them on this side. Unless that's this one up under here. This was a fuel sensor here. There must be a plug on your side. How about side. here? I don't know if that's the right plug. Looks to me to be. You think that's going to go All right. there? All right, okay. I, I stand I, corrected. I do not. I do not. You're right. I didn't look at it that close. I'll come around over here and look. It's not on that side. It's right here. Okay. See that? Okay. Boom. Like it. And that was down underneath here, though. Okay, where's your dash at? I'll bet that's an expensive little trinket. That can't be too much. It's a Harley. Okay, I want to hook up the ignition switch, which is this. And probably whatever this is, we got to hook up. I'm assuming that goes into this. Hold that.
good. It only goes one way. Okay, that should give us ignition. Just lay that right there. I bet you don't have your selector from the bar. My selector? Yep, left or right. This piece of crap over here in the window? Like this thing? Here, I'll select you. Well, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with all this crap here. This is custom. Okay, this is our right side selector. It appears that it came apart. Well, you had to take it apart. So you gotta match up these wires somehow, but where's the other half out? You got a plug around here somewhere? He had to do that to get it to go through something. And this one over here. And I don't see a purple wire, so color code doesn't match up. It's two grays. I'm assuming these go together because they're still connected. Right. Orange, red, and gray. So these three go on this side. It's right on this. Boom. Mm, it's always fun when you don't take stuff apart. Hear that sound like gunfire. You shooting your dinner? No. Sure. Ah, stupid. I'm trying to save time, I ain't saving time. Put the damn thing together like it's supposed to. Quit fucking around. Okay, these go on the other side here. So this all goes through here, like that. So you don't save any time when you take forever to do stuff. Okay, now, these go in here like that. You got white, what is it, like a brown and a black? That looks like the lower one. See, I don't know how you had, how this all came apart, because none of this stuff matches. What the hell you hook it to? It doesn't match. There's no reason for it. It must have been on two different connectors. There's no way this could have been together because none of these color codes match. All right, well, let's look around some more then. You were one who was watching. You're supposed to be paying attention to this crap. That was your job. Same thing, it doesn't have any of the same colors in it. Now I don't have a book on the spike, so. Well, 
But uh, I don't know if you videotaped close enough to see. I thought I was. Okay, we're gonna have to go download some video and figure this one else out. Okay, here's some other plug up under here. That was a speedo plug up under there. This is the other handlebar plug. I don't know, this stuff here goes up the dash maybe. I don't know what all this stuff goes to. <clears throat> yeah, there's... Okay, there's your purple wire. Okay, see it's got white with mm -hmm. purple. Okay, so the center one's the one that goes to that. So that little brown one I saw over here. This would be the one that goes to the turn signal, this brown one right here. This one's black, I think. Is that brown? That's black. They're so close to each other. Boy, they are. I think this is the lower one, the black one. So if I had to guess, that goes there. See, we have purple on this side, and we should have. We're on the right side handlebar. This is the right side plug, it looks like, but. Is or you don't pay attention. At least these are all still connected, so. Okay, there's your orange, yellow, blue. The other side is yellow, and your two whites. So all of these colors match to what we got in this. So that goes on this side, definitely. The other side, none of that shit matches. So you got a black with a red. This is full black, so I'm going to assume the black and red goes together. So that means the violet is going to go where the brown is, I guess, because it doesn't match anything else. We're running out of places to connect more stuff. Process of elimination, there's only one wire left. It doesn't matter if the color code doesn't match up. It was the only one left. Okay, there's that. Around. I need a bulb. There's one towards the back in that uh, really lens. I'm looking for a turn signal though. Where'd the turn signal go? In the back. You hit it. There's an amber bulb in that lens. That's ignition on. Boy, look at that first guess. Boy, here's something else. We got it. <laughs> okay. Here, you can have this. Yeah, I like it. No, you don't, because we're taking off the body. Well, what would Tatro have done? Same thing you are, take a piece of crap, take a off, crap the off the bike. <laughs> Jeez. How do you want to ride on that thing on your bike for? Okay, let's get rid of this dash before we drop it again. Hold that for me. Where's my 
the connectors out, put up under there. Switch. You want a screwdriver? Signals on there correctly. See, that was easy. And you got discouraged. Never crossed my mind that you couldn't do that. I couldn't figure it out. You mean? We had a screw over here once. There it is. So you figured I could figure it out all by myself? Of course. Well, you would have been screwed if I couldn't. I'm assuming we're done with dripping oil on the floor. I don't know who did that mess on me. It'll go Has away. Has the hazmat show showed that up That pig mat will go fix it. Has the hazmat team showed up yet? You told me to remember which side was which. You know which side is which. Is there an O-ring under that? Tub? Nope. There's a copper gasket. See. That's what I was wondering. Where I tighten my piss out of it. Oh, you get a dingleberry hanging out. Look at that. Yeah. What do you got growing out of that thing? Hmm. Spider web. You got spiders living inside your fork? How long was this thing sitting? Hmm. See the official tool back here? I see that. Support. Look, huh? You notice this time I got laid this time, so it didn't pour all over my foot. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Now, what do you do with this, this messy stuff on the floor? Try to not trip over it. Not trip on? Here. I'm going to find someplace to put these in there and fall. I'm thinking right there is a good spot. Okay, before I step in this, I'm going to get rid of it. See, that's not pigment. See, it's not soaking up very well. Well. Okay, where's the uh, oil? Right here. Hold that up. Okay, we got appropriate devices. You know what that is? It's called a plastic funnel. Yeah, you're pretty smart. Okay, we're going to use a uh, 15 weight because 10 is too thin and 20 might be too stiff for you. All right. How much volume did we decide? Uh, let's see, the 15 bike, which we don't have, said it took like 13.4 ounces. The 90s book said it took, uh, what was it, uh, 11 and a half dry, uh, wet and 12 and a half dry. So there seems to be a conspect, uh, difference of about one, uh, with a 0.9 ounce difference between the two. So we're going to split the difference. I'm going to put 12 to 12.2 ounces in this container. I didn't know what wet and dry was, so dry is newly assembled and wet's just changing it. Wet is my floor over there. Okay. All right. Dry is this side. I try to figure it out. But. Okay, uh, this is, uh, okay, we got 10 ounces here. So that's 12, so we're going to be somewhere in 11 to 12. Okay. Because we're going to be dry. So it's a what, 11 and a half, 12? We're going to shoot for 12, I think, so we we're shooting for. I don't care for a little bit too much. Ooh, look at that stuff. If you're too low, you got a problem. Now, you got to remember, the funnel is, this is all dry, too, so right. we've got some clean involved here. Okay, right now we're about 11 and a half. I'm 
I'm not sure how much cling we're going to get here. So we're definitely 12 and a quarter. What weight do we got here? Now you got to make sure you let air come up. Yeah, that's why I'm holding it up. Oh, I was okay. holding it. All right, you got it? Yeah, I got it. My tool's getting wet. No, everything looks good. That'd be a problem. So you gotta make sure we got a good air hole coming up so right. the oil goes in. Right, otherwise you'll, again, you've got a problem. Yes, oil leakage issue. to take the fork apart either. That's, good. That's true. The seals are still in nice I shape. I didn't get to use my zip gun over there. Okay, so there's a certain amount of oil cling in there. Yeah. That's called wet now. Okay. It wasn't wet before it was dry. Okay. This is wet too. So these are both wet. Zip gun has a tool. Put up on here like this. Evidently, it doesn't fit twin cams. It only fits real Harleys. There it goes. Still doesn't fit very well. What are we trying to do? That's how you get this nut off the oh, fork. Okay. See, I thought this was solid and it didn't have a hole in it to put oil in it. So. Gotcha. That's made for older bikes. But it works. It works, so we're okay. So what side is this? That is the uh, left side. Left side. Okay. I guess you will in the damper. So this goes up on this side of the vehicle. Yes, sir. You got these flaps over here that you have to put with them along. See, so you weren't over my side to see the flaps. Yeah, but. So these are used. Somebody around here is cheap. So we're going to reuse them things. Do we have them? Maybe. They're not going to be a problem. I looked at them. Okay, now before you torque that down, okay, I just rotated my flat spot over here so I could see it. Oh, okay. I got you, okay. So now you go ahead and tighten the pinch bolt down a little bit. And you can use the pinch bolt as a holding fixture, basically. So that cosmetic nut is instrumental in keeping the fork tube from turning. Bolt down here, the pinch bolt. Does, you can use it for more than one thing if you, if you plan it correctly. Getting in here is a tight fit. See, these cowbells are in the way over here, keeping me from getting onto the bolt. Work that down. Okay, now that that's torqued, it keeps the tube from moving. So if you look in here, you can see the flat spot in here. Yes. Uh -huh. the hole there. Yes. So, because that's made so the bolt can go in there right. and tighten this down and not the bottom of it. Right, right. So this side doesn't have a flat spot, so you got to be careful about it. So now we can go ahead and tighten this down. I usually don't like torquing this down until I get the other leg in. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. So I'm going to leave that there. This here i got to get out with a pair of pliers probably. And you can just rotate this to wherever you want it to be. Gotcha. 
Do you want? Eleven and a half. No. Isn't that what we figured? Nope. Nope. That was not what we did. We had twelve to twelve point two. It was wet before, so we were a little on a heavy side. Just about a 12 right there. We'll give it just a kiss more. Just to make sure we're over the 12 line. So see now we're over the line here a little bit. Mm -hmm. So considering we had oil cling, we should be about equal when we're all done. <clears throat> but maybe not. You never know. So again, just take your time and go slow, and you don't run the risk of spilling. The problem is, if you spill it, it's not a matter of cleaning it up. It's how much. Spill. Yeah, how much did how much did you have in there? Yeah, how much did you lose? <laughs> Makes it kind of hard to guess. What does it mean when it comes on here? It says capture. What does that mean? I don't know. All right, it's not doing it now. Are you capturing it? Uh, I don't know. It was. Maybe I was touching one of these buttons. I don't know. Well, you're talking about the camera? Yeah. I thought you are talking about the side of the funnel. Now, before you dump this on the floor, it's best to close this up. Yep. Save it for another day. It doesn't make nearly as much mess when there's a lid on it. You're assuming I know how to use that camera. Well, it's just point and shoot. I need more net. I don't know. All right, I got you. Trade places with you. Why? <clears throat> right here. So you're hiding again on the wrong side. You can't see anything. Figured you learned that last time. See that flat yeah. spot? Uh huh. Straight up in there. Okay, right there. To seal there again. We're gonna reuse that sucker. Cause I know you're cheap. I've been accused of a lot of things, but not being cheap. It's not to your face. Uh. Wait. We don't have a problem with telling the truth around here. I guess not. Watch now, you're going to cut that wire to your under the stop. No, I'm not. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, okay. You're right, you're right, you're right. Here's the clunk, clunk, clunk. Yep, yep, yep. See, I know the clunk, clunk, clunk sounds like. Right. Okay, we put this on there for more leverage. Okay. What's the torque spec on that? Tight. And you notice how the uh, we're using the bike as the right, holding as the, fixture? Mm -hmm. Is that another Jim's tools? Yep. You put an O-ring in there to yeah. mark, mark up your Very space. nice. Of course, you have to glue the O-ring in like I did so it won't come out. Okay, so now we got our legs in there. Okay, now, you take your pinch bolts that we just torqued down, and you untorque them.
So if you pull this stupid headlight off, you can add access to these bolts a lot easier. Okay, now that frees up the fork so that now this here is independent of the tubes. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you torque this down, things can go like this mm -hmm. and not bind. That's kind of important. Mm -hmm. Now we want to figure out what kind of torque we got here. You want to preload your bearings a little bit. It's got it preloaded. Yes, I like it. Not too wobbly, right. So, see how it just flops just after halfway? Right. That's where I like putting it. Okay. See, it's about halfway and it starts right. to flop. This one's about three quarters. Close enough. Looks like right it. There. Nice. So that way you won't have a floppy front end going down the road handle a little better. Now you go ahead and torque everything down and then you see what it is after you torque it. <coughs> now these bikes will hold pretty even torque. The earlier bikes you have a double nut you're compressing against so when you tighten this it makes the whole thing tighter. So you have to go back and forth to get the mm -hmm. come up with the torque you want. So when we torque this let's see what the change is. Loosened it up, didn't it? Meh. About the same. It shouldn't really make a difference on this bike, and it didn't seem like it did. See, it's just barely going. Because, see, this one's just going this way. Right. And when you have this one going against this one, it shoves, there's clearances in your threads, so it goes like one way or the other, the thread, and it'll make the thing tighter or looser. So it'll change it. So the last thing you do is you come back and you torque your pinch bolts on here for your lower tree. Now this is the only thing that actually holds the front end on the bike. Is the pinch. Because up here, this is actually mounting a piece of rubber. Right. So this isn't really holding it very strong up here. Right. That's why Harley in uh, somewhere in the early teens, they went to that 39 million style fork where it pinched around both legs. Right. A lot stronger, eliminated some of the wobbling because the lower tree is doing all the work, the top tree is not doing that much. So it only took them from 49 to, you know, around 13 or something to figure out how to do the front end right. See, nobody said Harley was very fast. It just takes them a while. It's all right. They probably saw a Yamaha part one day. <laughs> oh. Oh, how that's how they do it. <laughs> Look at that. I like the clean way that headlight's mounted on there. Yeah, yeah, you said you liked the other style better before. So. Yeah, it's well, I like that other style too, but this is pretty clean. When you get rid of that stupid ass. Yeah, oh, I know, it just funnel. looks this looks better. That stupid funnel they had on there. And you want to make sure you tighten these bolts down because if you don't, said the front end can wobble on you a little bit. torque is it? Boy, you're getting close. Problems I can't get the last little bit because it's there it is. It's at least twenty three and a half. Yeah, I think so. On the half. On the half? Yeah. Point, maybe point six. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Torqued. Okay, now this. Sitting in there pretty tight. Pretty tight squeeze in there. There. You're popping and banging mm -hmm. going in. You just stuff rattles all over the place. I got some binding going on. if you not rattle up here. Okay, so we get some more tools to get out of our way. Now, if you're done with your tools, get them out of your damn way and you won't trip them. So, we're going to get rid of all these front end tools. Get that crap out of my way. Okay. Where's your pair of pliers at?
nothing. We need so channel locks. There you got it. I have to use it the old fashioned way. Grip. Squeeze like crazy. There, we're not using that crap no more. Okay. Now this here goes in there like that. So where is the back covers? Okay, I need a box of hardware over there. I don't know if this is permanent here right now or not, but I'll go ahead and screw it in there and pretend it's we don't have to go back in here today. Fancy ass chinkuses. I see a big scrape we put in there. Because we can take it out right. See how this one's more beat up? So we're going to put this on this side because it's more beat up. Now what do we have on here besides uh, on the top? We just had bolts under, didn't we? I believe so. Didn't have anything fancy in there. No, I believe that was it. It's probably a stupid button that things here. Plan works over here. If it doesn't work, it's your fault. Where's all that extra wiring? Oh, go. What this? Yeah. Just let it hang around. Well, you don't like that? Well, you want it perfect, hidden? One part here is trying to get the bolt to start. Need a 12 point half inch. Can't feel the hole. This red. There's so much crap in there. You have no way of turning a bolt. You'll get it.
told you so. What? That you'd get it. You figured I'd get in there? Sure. How do you know? Because you don't give up. Oh. Too stubborn? You're not German, are you? German what? German descent. Because Germans are pretty stubborn. Okay, looks like it's starting. See how you need to have a special cut down wrench for doing this. So you need to grind all this off here real quick. Right. Close. Need more room. Starting to torque something. I'm assuming about the angle of the headlights, about the same, right? Yes. Yeah, looks like we'll still be able to get that wire in and out. Not too close. Just the crazy. Boy, now we're talking. So the light looks where? Yeah. Now. How come it looks like this headlight's pointed to the roof? Well, because we got a little bit of a lift on it, but. We're doing a wheelie right now? Yeah, a little bit. We got a couple inches off the ground. A couple inches? It still looks like the headlight's way the hell out of whack. It's hard to believe it's that far off. Got a boy. There, it's adjustable. See, somebody didn't twerk the damn thing down back in there when you were in there. See, you should have done that before you put your cover on, though. We have another problem. This was not put in there all the way. See the shield here? Oh, yeah. If it's pushed way back, you have a gap in here. Yeah, but it couldn't go any farther. Or maybe it could. Yeah, something's wrong. Improper installation of the products. So you need to get in there tight. And that means we have to redo it. You don't think if you just loosen that top screw you can get it to come in? Oh, there you go. I can do that. Okay. Before I do that, I want to tighten up part of the inside. We got your upgrade do. What's that? Hold on to that. Go over there. 
pick it up in there. Gonna go down, you have to All right. it up. Well, I get Wait, I can't get on. It's getting loose now, Tyler. Okay, there. All right. So just tighten the piss out of this bolt right in here. The lights off again. There we go. So I'm gonna tighten this clamp pinch pinch bolt up in there. So it was rusted, but once the rust freed up, then the bolt tightened up. So now we got the headlight pointing probably slightly downhill because we are on the bike. Yeah, we're not that high in the air, but it still moves, but it's a lot harder to move it now. So so now I just match my signals to what the headlight is, and we should be good. And what we're doing in here is we're tightening this bolt up in here, obviously. So get this all pinched in where it belongs. There you go. It says three minutes. Three minutes to what, dinner time? No, it says, I don't know, it just says three minutes. Well, we'll find out in three minutes what happens. Oh, okay. That was a fully I charged... I think you got low battery. That was a fully charged battery. Well... Somebody's taking their time. Are you saying this is going to be a long video series? Well, it appears that they way. They said they wanted long videos. It, 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 appe it appears that way. We'll see if they like these or not. Make sure you leave your comments in care of Alan. Okay. My mailbox is full, so I have a hard time. Should be fine then. Two minutes. Counting down? Yeah. I'm going to shut it off here before it quits. Well, let it go until it quits. Okay. That's the worst thing that's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. It's going to quit. You might throw hundred dollar bills at <laughs> the it. The work, the world could end. The world could end. All right, how's that? You like that one? Yes, I do. Wow. Does it sound like it's mounted solidly? Pretty much. Yeah. Might not fall off this week. Pretty much. Yeah. Seems to be fairly secure. Okay, now you take this wire here. I need to poke this thing out through the back side. So I need some CRC when I leave the goop out. The squirt can in Right here. There it is. So you lubricate the wire right here. Make it easier to go in and out. I might as well put a little bit of lubricant up sure. on the rubber. And make it poke in there easier. Now I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. See how they got like a trough here? Yeah. So maybe that's supposed to go in there like that. I don't think it even hits in that. So. I don't know. You just kind of let it go for it and see what happens. How's that? Rubber is going to have to make its way out the back side of the hole there. I just want to make that 